disrupting day. We love it. Now, our Aussie correspondent Ruth has been the envy of all the girls in the office today. Not only did she get to meet the one and only Robbie Williams, but he pretty much fell in love with her, and we are not joking. Now, the person I feel sorry for is um, Ruth's fiance, Matt, particularly when images like this start surfacing <laughs> online. I mean, look, look, talk about kicking a man when he's down. <laughs> so, here it I mean, is. It's on her Facebook page today. <laughs> Ruth Win Williams Williams meeting her future husband. Hello. Journalistic integrity aside, I've been waiting for this day nearly half my life. You look like a composite of a few of my ex-girlfriends. See, when I was uh, 17, that would have really made my day. I would have told all my school friends about that. Let me take you back. The year is 2001. This hit song's been out a while. Robbie Williams is a big deal. I was in my final year of high school. It was my big exams, university entrance exams, and I uh, wagged school to get tickets to your show. It's worth it, your pop education, your uh, education in uh, popular culture at the time, that I was at the zenith of. Ah, yes, quite an education. That pelvic thrusting, those brooding looks. I just wanna and then nothing. Our relationship went cold. In fact, he hasn't even visited New Zealand in 12 years. Why is that? Um, why is that? My manager has just told me, now I, you can tell me if this is true or not, that people went off me because of my relationship with Rachel Hunter. Well, I want to know what you did to Rachel Hunter now. I didn't, I didn't do anything. Me and Rachel had a, a wonderful time, and she's a wonderful person, and I think she'd say the same thing about me, and um, I, I don't know. It hurts me to say this, but when it comes to ex-girlfriends, Robbie Williams has a few. Years have passed, though, and look, we've all changed. And, of course, life has moved on an awful lot for you. Um, you've got children now. Two children, Theodora and Charlton, with American actress Ida Field. Would you recommend that they moved into this kind of a career if they started, you know, looking like they wanted to be singers or anything like that? Yes, I would, because it's a lot of fun and it's um, more fun than a proper job. When you said what you wanna see. He might be one of the best-selling artists of all time, but 25 years ago, when he was 16, Robbie's career started with UK boy band Take That, and things got weird. Did you ever look back and think, wow, and cringe a little bit? No, I, d I don't really, because we were... There was nothing else for me or the boys to do. I didn't have any exam results, wasn't skilled in anything, I couldn't play the guitar. There was nothing left for me to do other than being a boy band. I don't wanna rock, rock, DJ. Letting it all hang out is just fine with Rob, I'm pretty sure I can call him that. He once said he'd like to be a naturist, but our time together is nearly up and I think he's trying to let me down gently. I always said to my past girlfriends, it's not a small cock, I've just got massive thighs and it's an optical illusion. And uh, it's not true, it is quite small. Uh, so if I had a, just an extra inch and a half, I'd be a naturist, but it isn't and I'm not. Still keen? Don't worry, all of Robbie Williams is on his way. I'm coming down to leave a calling card and go, remember me, these are the songs. I'm coming back next time. Uh, remember me and like me. And hopefully they will. Oh, Robbie, I'll never forget. <laughs> Very nice. Looking forward to the concert. And uh, today it was announced Avalanche City will be the support act in Wellington, so that's a bonus too.